Hi, in this video, I'll show you how to create battery infographic in PowerPoint. I'm Ram Gopal from Prezotraining.com, a site that offers creative presentation ideas for trainers. The infographic you will learn to create today looks like this. It's a very beautiful infographic and it's extremely easy to create this infographic. Let me show you how to create this infographic from scratch. I'm going to create the battery infographic using one simple tool. Let me go to Auto Shapes menu. Under Basic Shapes, you find this tool called a Scan tool. I'm going to click on the Scan tool and I'm going to draw the basic battery shape. So this is the body of the battery. Now I'm going to create the cap on top. So let me go to Auto Shapes menu again. And then I go to basic shapes and click on the can tool once again, and I'm going to create the cap. Done. Now we need to show the fill level of the battery. For that, I'm going to select the body of the battery, press Ctrl D to duplicate, place it right on top of the earlier shape, and I'm going to click on the small square here on top and I'm going to drag it down and this is the fill level. Now you may not actually be able to see the fill level clearly that is because this color and this color is the same. So we are going to differentiate that. How? First I'm going to select this shape. Let me go to shape fill and click on the green colored fill and I'm going to remove the outline. So the fill is very clearly visible. Now I'm going to do the same for this one, this body as well. So let me go to shape fill and do the same filling for the body as well. But this time I'm going to right click, go to format shape. I'm going to increase the transparency levels so that the color matches yet because of the change in transparency, you can see that there is an illusion that there is a fill in the battery. Now let me go to this and go to shape outline and say no outline. Now we have got the battery and the fill ready. Now to make this match with the rest of it, I'm going to go to shape fill and choose maybe a dark gray color and remove the outline. And now I have the battery infographic ready. I can always change the fills to the extent I want. So it is completely editable. Then if I want to make it into a 3D shape, I just need to add a shadow. The shadow looks like this. So I'm going to add the shadow here. Let us go to Auto Shapes menu. Under Basic Shapes, pick up the Oval tool and I'm going to draw an elliptical shape. Now I'm going to remove the outline for this one. Go to Shape Outline and say No Outline. Now let us fill this with a gradient. So let me go to the Shape Options, Fill and Gradient Fill. And I'm going to choose the type of gradient as path gradient. So you have various types here. I'm going to choose path. Then I'm going to remove one of the gradient stops here. As you can see here, there are three gradient stops. We just need two gradient stops. I'm going to keep the first gradient somewhere close to around 25%. And then the next gradient, I'm going to change the shape fill to white or whichever is the color of the slide background and I'm going to increase the transparency of the second stop to almost 100%. Now this is the shadow. I'm going to right click and say send to back and I'm going to keep it under the previous uh, battery infographic I created and I'm going to extend this and then I'm going to place it underneath. Now you can see that there is a beautiful 3D effect because of this nice shadow. Now you might ask that here we have a sheen on the battery which makes it look really professional. So how do we bring that sheen? It's very simple. Go to Auto Shapes menu under Rectangles, pick up the Rectangle tool and I'm going to draw a thick rectangular bar. Let us go to Shape Outline and say No Outline. Then let us go to Shape Fill and fill it with white color. Then let us go to Transparency and increase the transparency. Then let us go to Shape Options, Shape Effects. Then let us go to Soft Edges and add one of the presets, maybe around 10 points 
and now you have a beautiful sheen available on the battery infographic if you want the sheen to be a little more pronounced you can make it slightly more transparent and now we have the sheen available we can always adjust the size of uh, the sheen yeah that looks interesting now i can always make a copy of this by holding the control button and moving it to its new location and then maybe i can slightly make it thinner remember because we have already added a soft edge we cannot go too thin because it has to show through as well now it is done we have two beautiful sheens on top of this 3d battery infographic and that completes the infographic now i'm going to show you some example templates taken from our complete trainers bundle which uses a similar technique to create different types of battery infographics the first example is this that shows a level of fill in the jar the technique of creating this is very similar to the one that i showed you but then the difference is that this is a data driven chart let me show you how this data driven chart works i am going to select the chart and you can see that the chart is here and i'm going to right click go to edit data and click on edit data option and that opens up this beautiful worksheet i just need to change the number here so instead of 80% if i want to say 40% i just can uh, enter 40% and press enter and now the fill level has changed it's that simple now there is another example of this as you can see here this is battery charge on a scale of 1 to 10 once again this is also a data driven chart right click edit data and here you can see that there are nine units that are shown here and you can actually count them they are nine and if i want to make them as say 5 instead of 9 i can enter the number here and press enter and immediately the value changes 1 2 3 4 5 is here and this is again a data driven infographic as you can see here at the face of it it might not look like that these are data driven charts but they are and that is the beauty of the templates that we have in complete trainers bundle and some of them are breathtakingly beautiful like the one that you can see here and all of these are totally data driven when you want to create infographics that look like the ones that are picked up from financial magazines and yet you don't want to spend a lot of time creating these infographics and if you want to make them as data driven then the simplest the smartest and the quickest way to create that is to go to complete trainers bundle pick up one of these templates and then change the sample data with your own data and you create awesome infographics in a matter of seconds Not only do we have battery meters but also other kind of meters that are created pretty much using the technique that I taught you and this is a sand clock which indicates percentage of completion the beauty of this is i can change the percentage like the way that i had changed earlier and here you would see that finished percentage automatically uh leads to the remaining percentage calculation for example if i want to say instead of 90% completion if i want to say it is only 40% completion you can see that 40% is completed and 60% is still remaining and all this is again totally data driven i hope you learned some interesting techniques in creating battery infographic in powerpoint if you want to learn more such creative ways to make your training slides come alive then i highly recommend you take a look at our ram gopal's powerpoint mastery program ram gopal's powerpoint mastery program is arguably the most comprehensive powerpoint training online no other book or course online or offline teaches you the kind of advanced tips tricks and techniques that i teach you in ram gopal's powerpoint mastery program if you want to learn more about the program you can click on the no more button here I'll also leave a link to the course in the description area below this video. And before we close this video, just one more thing. Do you want to know how to make your training slides creative and interesting even if your topic is dry and boring? Then please click here to sign up for a fun 7-day email course. It's a totally free course and if you're a trainer or a course creator, you can't afford to miss this interesting and creative email course. I'll see you on the inside.